Good Monday morning, nursery. Do you see anything different on the wall? Hmm. I see something across the wall. I see all of our friends. And I see a habitat with something in it. In a few minutes, we're going to find out a surprise. Are you ready? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with sunshiny faces, ready to play in our brand new day. Are you ready to start? We're going to start with name recognition. So if you see your first and your last name go up, I want you to jump up and say, that's me, that's me. And if you see your friends' names that you recognize, call their names out too, because that means you're reading them. Are you ready? Let me shuffle my card. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. If this is you, call out. First name. Last name. Who is that? Mason. First name. Last name. Who is that? Eva. Who's this? First name. Last name, Zachary. Who is this? First name, last name, Easton. First name, last name. Juliana. First name. Last name. Drew. First name. Last name. Ellie. First name, last name, first name, last name, first name. Last name, first name, last name, first name, last name. You've been very patient. Here's our last one. First name. Last name. Did you recognize your name and your friends' names? You should have. Let's count our friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen friends. I want to know how many friends' names you recognized. That's a big deal. Days of the week.
Days of the week. Snap, snap. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Today is Sunday, Monday. April is our month, 20th is the day, and it is 2020. 20 days into April, we just counted 13 friends. Can we count to 20? I think we can. Are you ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, let me hear you. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Whew, take a deep, deep, deep breath for that one. And we're still talking about our letter R. Like a pirate. R. Start your engines. And with R, you start at the tippy top. You go all the way down. You pick up your writing tool back at the top. Make a top belly and extend out a fancy little leg. R says er like rugs, rugs, <gasps> rabbits, rings, rings, and rose. Do you think that one really smells? Is it real? It's make pretend. Rose. Now I'm really excited about something, friends. My husband, Mr. C, found something, and I'd like to share it with you. We're going to talk about it. Since the next two weeks, we're still on the theme of spring. We're talking about pond life, and we find butterflies at the pond. We find them outside. We find them everywhere. So we're going to talk about butterflies today. Ooh, butterflies are the most beautiful insects. Some have blue wings, some have orange wings. A few butterflies have wings you could see through. Wow, they're clear, like plastic wrap. The life of a butterfly starts with an egg, which hatches into a caterpillar. So that's this picture right here. This is the lifespan, the life cycle of a butterfly. After it hatches, a caterpillar may eat its eggshell. Hmm. Oh! There are many kinds of caterpillars. Some look scary. Some poke out stinky horns at enemies. Hmm. They're little. They have to defend themselves some way from other bugs who want to eat them. Caterpillars love to eat plants. They eat and grow quickly. Soon, a caterpillar grows too big for its own skin. So that's when they get to this kind of stage. He eats and eats and eats, kind of like the very hungry caterpillar. Then it molts. The old skin splits open. The caterpillar wriggles out in a brand new skin. The hungry caterpillar keeps on eating. As it grows, the caterpillar will molt again. It may even eat its own skin. Ugh. In a few weeks, a caterpillar may be 3,000 times bigger than when it hatched. Now the plump caterpillar finds a safe place. So it keeps eating and shedding its skin to get bigger. And it's gonna find a safe place for something. Let's see. 
It wriggles out of its skin one last time. Then it turns into a pupa. The pupa barely moves day after day. But inside the caterpillar's body is becoming a butterfly. What a miracle. So that's this right here. And they're all different colors depending on what color the caterpillar was, what type it is. One day, the pupa splits and a butterfly crawls out. That's a monarch butterfly. It stretches its brand new wings. It checks out its brand new body. And that's this picture here. And that's also a monarch butterfly. A butterfly has big eyes to see the colors and shapes of flowers. It can taste with its feet pew, and smell with its antenna. But best of all, Butterflies can fly. They skip and dance in the air. It is hard for birds to catch them. Butterflies love to visit flowers. When one lands, it uncurls a long tongue. It's kind of like a drinking straw. It drinks a sweet juice called nectar from the flower. Nectar is food for butterflies. When some butterflies close their wings, they could hide like leaves. Camouflage, we've been talking about that word. Other butterflies do not need to hide. The colorful wings of a monarch butterfly warn enemies that it tastes bad. When a female butterfly is ready, she looks for the right place to lay her eggs again. She will find plants her caterpillars love to eat. There she lays her eggs, so there will always be more butterflies. Hmm. The end. So, we have this really cool, I'm not going to disturb him again, because I'm going to attach some footage I took of him before. He's right in there. He's hard to see. see he's kind of under the leaves. But Mr. Steve found him in Wayne Scott and he is called a giant leopard moth caterpillar. And he's, you know, there's butterflies and there's moths. I think they're all the same, but because I love them, I think they're so pretty. But this guy is going to be white and black which i'll show you coming up in the picture and he's very big and he has these spines which i'll show you and red wings which makes him unique so today i want you to see how many of the friends names you've recognized i want you to practice your r's i want you to go out and see if you can find a caterpillar or a butterfly and also, look out for Miss Gabby's lesson. We are going to have a fun two weeks filled with pond life and fun. Miss you guys. And I will send you an email soon for our next Zoom meeting. Have a great day. He's got the red rings in between his segments. He's got the bristles that look fluffy, but they're really not. They're spiny and they protect him from his enemies. And he'll roll up and just stick out his bristles so nobody bothers him. And I bet you he tastes pretty yucky to birds and other animals. Especially when they have a red color, they usually taste yucky. And his little face. Mmm, it's best. <laughs>